Hi there, welcome to Zen English. My name is Harry and I will be a guest teacher here on Zen English. I have my own YouTube channel, Learn English with Harry, and you'll find a link in the description below. The lesson today is a vocabulary lesson and the vocabulary I'm using are words we can use instead of the word problem. So they are similar words to problem or synonyms as we call them. Okay, so I've got eight of them in total. I'm going to give them to you one by one and then I'm going, I'm going to go back through them and I'll give you some examples how we might use them, but all related to problem. Okay, so the eight I have is issue, challenge, difficulty, trouble, setback, obstacle, dilemma, and then finally vicious circle. So eight in total. So let me go through them one by one, as I said, and I'll give you uh, an example of how you might use them. So we're talking about problem, and a problem is something that pops up from time to time in all of our lives. It can be a problem in the family. It can be a problem at work. It can be a problem with your friend. It can be a problem in every aspect of your life. And usually as we get a bit older, like me, you get problems that go back many, many decades or generations and you just get used to dealing with them. So what are the other words? So let's look at the first one, issue. So issue can be an issue of a newspaper. So there are two issues published every month. But when we're talking about a problem, issue in particular means a thing. Yeah, okay. I have an issue with that document you sent me yesterday. I don't really like the tone. Could you change the tone a bit because it should be a little bit more friendly. Yeah? Uh, I have an issue with my neighbour. He keeps making noise at strange times of the, the day and night and uh, I don't, I'm not sure how I should deal with it. So I have an issue, so a problem with him. There's an issue has come up at work. I'm going to be a little bit late this evening. I'll try and get home as quickly or as soon as possible. An issue. Next, challenge. Well, a challenge is, can be looked on as something positive. It shouldn't be ever looked on as something negative, whereas problem is always uh, looked on from a negative point of view. So challenge and problem, similar, but we look on challenge in a more a productive way, a more objective way, and a more positive way. So if you're standing at the bottom of a tall mountain, the challenge is how you're going to get up there and how you're going to get back down. So it might present you with a problem because you may not be very skillful at rock climbing or trekking, but you're going to give it a go because it's for charity and you want it to be successful. So that is the challenge. The challenge often for people is to keep themselves motivated. So it might be a problem because they need to be motivated and they get demotivated very quickly. Everything in life can be a challenge. For some people, a challenge is getting up in the morning. For other people, it's to stay awake uh, in the lectures. And for other people, it's to stay awake when the boss is talking. So all of these can be challenges or problems. Third, difficulty. Now, difficulty and problem, very, very similar. Yeah. Somebody might ask a general question when they've made a presentation or they've given you some work to do or they've presented a paper. Well, has anybody got any difficulties with that? Has anybody got any problems with that? So it's really asking the same thing. Is it? Is there something in it that you don't understand? Is there something in it that you want me to explain again? What exactly is your difficulty. Do you have a difficulty with the mathematics that your teacher is asking you to do? And you know, if you see the son or daughter leaning over the, the kitchen table or their uh, study table in their bedroom and they are scratching the head, not knowing what to do and say, you, you seem to have some difficulty with these problems. Do you need some help? Uh, can I help you with that? So when they have a, a difficulty. The government has a difficulty with the budget because of rising costs, fuel prices going sky high, gas, petrol, diesel prices are slightly out of control. So the government is going to have some difficulty trying to control prices, trying to keep inflation under control, a difficulty. Next word is trouble. Okay, now trouble is always uh, negative. There's never nothing very positive about trouble okay so yeah i have some trouble at work yeah 
these meetings just go on and on and on and I'm not sure I really enjoy it. I'm not even sure do I really want to stay there. That's my trouble. I don't believe that this is the where I want to spend the rest of my working life trouble. Is there some trouble at school with the kids? They don't seem to be so happy. They seem to be dragging their feet going to school today. I was trying to get them to tell me about it in the car, but they, they just seem to be a little bit preoccupied. So is there some trouble that I should know about? So if there are difficulties, bullying or excessive homework, argument with the teacher, whatever it might be, these could be troubles or these could also be designated as problems. Okay, so troubles and problems. And then finally, for this particular word here, we have setback. Okay, so setback relates to something that you started to do, but then something stops you or something prevents you going forward and you can describe it as a setback or a problem. So perhaps you have been ill for a while and maybe really ill and you've been in hospital and uh, you seem to be recovering and reacting well to the treatment or the, the drugs, whatever the doctor has prescribed. But then uh, something happens, you get a new infection and the doctor comes to see you and say, well, I'm really sorry, Mr. Smith, but it's just a little bit of a setback. You can expect these in, in this situation when you've had such a major uh, surgery as you've had. We expect from time to time and don't be disappointed with this little setback. So a setback is a problem. It's something that stops you going forward and perhaps you have to reassess things and then move on from there. A setback. It could be just simply a setback in your business plans. Okay, so you had planned to launch the new product in the middle of the summer. You've got everything lined up. The product is ideal for this, the summer market. Um, you've got the newspapers and the uh, all the online advertising ready. But then you hit a bit of a snag and the production tells you, well, we're going to be about three or four weeks delayed. There's been a problem with the machinery. So it's unlikely to be ready before the end of July. So that's your setback. So how do you launch it in the middle of the summer when it's not going to be ready until the end of July? So you have to go back to the, as we say, back to the drawing board. You have to rethink things and decide how and when you're going to launch. So yeah, your new project has suffered a bit of a setback. It has suffered a bit of a problem. Okay, so setback, something that causes you to stop, to reconsider because something got in the way, a problem. So let's look at the next one, obstacle. Well, an obstacle can be something that is difficult to get around or get over. For example, the big strong winds or storms and the tree falls down in the park and it blocks the footpath, it becomes an obstacle. Or if the tree indeed falls across the street and blocks the traffic in both directions, then again, it's an obstacle. But obstacles are made so that we can get over them or around them. Okay, so literally for the tree, you can walk around. Perhaps you can't walk or drive around with the car, but you have to wait for somebody to come and clear it. And therefore, it's no longer an obstacle. But obstacles generally in life, we can get around them or to get over them. OK, so you can have obstacles in many, many different ways. Yeah, If you're applying for that job and an obstacle is the fact that you don't have enough or sufficient qualifications, well, then you have to get around that obstacle by getting back and getting the qualifications that you need. So obstacles come in all shapes and sizes. When we're studying at school in mathematics or physics, we talk about obstacles and we have to measure an obstacle or the teacher might just simply ask the students, well, here's a particular obstacle for you. How are you going to deal with it? So how are you going to challenge yourself to get over or around that particular obstacle? OK, so it's all about dealing with the obstacles in our mind, dealing with the obstacle in the park to walk around, dealing with the obstacle in work, in the office, in the university, in school, just generally in life. Obstacles, things that get in the way, but we can deal with them. So they are problems, but, you know, when you apply your mind to it, every problem has a solution. A dilemma. When we have a dilemma, it means we're unsure about what to do. Now, it could be a very simple dilemma, whereas you get invited to two parties for two friends, 
guess what? They're on the same day. So that in immediately is a dilemma. If you go to Kate's party, then Mary is going to be upset. If you go to Mary's party, then Kate is going to be upset. So what can you do? It's a dilemma. So you're going to have to find a way in which you can satisfy both of them. Okay. So any dilemma is something that presents us with some sort of difficulty. You have to go to the parent teachers meeting at the same time that your boss wants you to work late. There's always a way to deal with dilemmas. We shouldn't let them drag us down, but they are problems. They are challenges. They are issues that we have to deal with. And then finally, a vicious circle. Well, this indeed uh, is a problem and it's usually a, quite a bad problem because it, a vicious circle is something that goes round and round and that doesn't seem to be any end to it. OK, so we deal with matters quite trickily and we have to try and find a way out of this without getting hurt or without any serious damage. It's just a vicious circle. So a vicious circle could be something whereby, you know, if you don't work harder, you're not going to get promoted. If you work harder, you still might not get promoted because there's a competitive situation to it. If you work harder and get promoted, they expect you to work harder again. So in every situation, particularly in the working environment in the modern world, it's a rat race or it's what people refer to as a vicious circle. There's no way out. It just goes like all circles round and round and round. Yeah. So a vicious circle is a problem that really has no end until you decide to end it. So these are words, vocabulary, and the words that we use instead of a problem, English words that we use instead of using the word problem. So if you don't want to repeat problem, 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 then you've got some uh, options. And here I've given you eight particular synonyms. So an issue, challenge, difficulty, trouble, setback, obstacle, dilemma, and finally that vicious circle. So try to practice them. They, they won't all be absolute certainties as the synonyms. It depends on the situation you're in, but have a practice experiment. Try and see how they work. Try writing them out. If you have any problems, look them up in a dictionary or listen to this particular recording again. I really appreciate you watching and listening. And as always, I'll catch up with you again soon.